when we first come to Bermuda? In 1806. And uh, what was the conditions under which they arrived? Um, well, they'd been at sea for, I think it was around about 120 odd days. Um, they were on their way over to the Americas and they were uh, stuck in, in convoys. They were had uh, issues in the doldrums, no wind, and uh, they finally arrived in Bermuda uh, early part of August in, in 1806. Kind of like most tourist visits, a little uh, bounce here, uh, see what opportunities there were. And, but after having been at sea for that length of time, their charter had run out, they had no choice but to uh, actually set up camp in Bermuda. How then did it evolve into a rum business here in Bermuda? Wines and spirits were a very strong part of it, and uh, b being a um, so the sort of the northern bit of, of the Caribbean, um, we're actually proud of saying that we're not part of the Caribbean, but everyone th thinks we are, so we are. Um, <laughs> and uh, the Caribbean is, is known for its rum, and um, we had uh, very good contacts with the British Caribbean, uh, major rum producers, Guyana, Jamaica, Barbados, and it just became a natural that we would be sort of providing rum. We like to consider ourselves a little bit like cognac um, a bottler or a whiskey maker. Mm -hmm. They might not necessarily own the distilleries, mm -hmm. but uh, it is through the way that they make their blend that they make something which is distinctive. And with our rums, we feel that we have something very, very distinctive. Welcome to our blending facility, where we put together all the different components that make up our world-famous Gosling blends. This is a batch of Black Seal that's just been finished and ready for bottling. You have to have a smell of this. Smells so good. Delicious. <laughs> now, once that final blend has been completed, some will go into bottles and be sold island-wide for as Gosling's Black Seal Rum. Others will go into the uh, barrels where it's aged for the Gosling's Family Reserve Old Rum. It's Gosling's Black Seal Rum. It is a, a, a dark rum, a black rum, um, originally just uh, on draft. People would bring their own bottles in and ask for, uh, ask for the old rum, as it was referred to then. Uh, then finally we were able to get uh, second-hand bottles from the UK uh, officers' messes and those were champagne bottles and uh, they were corked and in order to differentiate between the different uh, products they used different colored sealing wax. Uh, green sealing wax was uh, American whiskey, black sealing wax was the old rum and eventually people started rather than asking for the old rum they'd say give me that black seal there. And it was a cousin of ours, uh, Francis Gosling, who back in the 1940s actually came up with the logo, that of a black seal balancing a barrel of rum on its nose. This is our Gosling's Family Reserve Old Rum. It's a premium sipping rum that was first bottled in 2003. We bottled it once a year only, and it's aged 16 to 20 years in these once-used bourbon barrels. So this is the premium rum? Uh, this is the finest money can buy. The one that you, I would hope, would have heard of is a Dark and Stormy, which is Gosling's Black Seal Rum and Ginger Beer. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is something we believe a Royal Navy uh, connection. Uh, the Royal Navy used to serve um, morning tots of, of Black Seal. Uh, locally, the, um, uh, up at HMS Malabar, which was the local Royal Navy base, uh, there was a non-commissioned officer's mess that had a ginger beer factory and they used to produce ginger beer as a fundraiser for, for the mess. And it really doesn't take too much of an uh, anthropologist to actually come up with the uh, uh, conclusion that sometime, somewhere, someone took their, their morning tot and the ginger beer and made a very, very refreshing cocktail. Mm. That is the spirit of Bermuda. 